Hey, what's going on? Eric Cortina here. So I got a cool new product that we want to show you today. This is an expander mandrel die. Now I'm sure you already have one of these or something similar that holds a mandrel. However, these are different. A conventional mandrel die, all it does is hold the mandrel. That's it. However, these, you can see these are cartridge family specific. So this is a 6.5 PRC. So what this will do is it will also size the base of the case. Now it's not, this is not a small base die, but it is the same size as your uh, full length sizing die. So it's just gonna give that, that base another small squeeze and that's going to help you minimize clickers. Because it is cartridge uh, family specific, the setup is extremely easy. Another thing to note is these uh, locking rings. They have a specific side. So this side, you can see it's kind of like a dome. And this side, it's flat. The reason for that is the flat side is the true side. It is a side that was machined on the same setup as the threads. So that is, ensures that it's perfectly square to the threads. So that's going to be your true side. So you can see that I have it upside down here. That's because I'm using a coax, so it pushes up. If you have a conventional press, you would flip the ring upside down. Now, the other thing is, uh, it's super easy to set up. You bring your ram all the way up, screw the die down until it touches the shell holder, right there, and then you simply tighten the set screws. It has two set screws, they're 90 degrees apart, and the reason for that is that you should always have access to at least one screw. Okay, now if you are using a conventional press, you see all these holes on the ring. You take a 3 16 punch and they go right in there and then that helps you tighten it. You know, I can't ever get a tool in there. So this way you just put a punch in there and you're able to tighten it, snug it down. So that's the setup, super easy. Again, uh, you can use this with a 6.5 PRC, the 6.5 by, or the 7 by 6.5 PRC. Now there's also a 30 caliber by 6.5 PRC. Anything that, that is derived from the 6.5 PRC, you can use this die on. Obviously you just simply need to change the mandrel. We also have them for 284, the 284 Winchester you can use with 284 Shehane. 284 Walker, KMR, anything derived from the 284. Obviously the 308 Winchester, you can use with the 308, 708, 260, 243. 6.5 Creed, uh, it's gonna be the same die because it's the 6.5 Creed is slightly shorter. So the mandrel is long enough that it's still gonna hit the neck. So uh, on the 6BR dies, you can use it with the 6BR, BRA, BRX, Dasher, anything derived from the 6BR cartridge it's gonna work so anyway i think you get the point how these work and again you just run it like a conventional die you are gonna need depending on how tight your brass is or how old you may need some lube and literally you just run it just like that and you're done you can see it this one this brass has been fired quite a few times but you can tell it sized it quite a bit or you know it it touched it quite a bit. So that's going to be the benefit. It's going to help you minimize clickers on, uh, on your brass. Now, if you don't know what a clicker is, when the brass gets old, because you cannot anneal the base, it starts to grow and it starts to get too big. So what ends up happening is it goes in the chamber pretty big already. When you fire it, the back of the brass swells up and it doesn't spring back enough anymore. So when you go to open your bolt, it has enough resistance that you have to fight it all the way up. And then when it finally lets go, the bolt slaps at the top and it clicks. So that's where you get your clickers because you're gonna be sizing your brass with your full length sizing die and you're going to be using your uh, expander mandrel die also to size the base. It's going to help keep that base in check and keep it from getting oversized. Now, again, it is not a small base die. It is the same size as your full length sizing die. However, as you can see, it's, uh, it's doing quite a bit of work there. Uh, the mandrels, the mandrels are compatible with 21st century. I've been recommending 21st century uh, mandrels for a long time. Uh, however, 
the dice, and not only theirs, everybody else's, they only size, they only hold the mandrel. That's all they do. And, and I think it's a wasted motion. It's a wasted pull of the handle to not be handling that base at the same time. These mandrels are also available on the website. The, uh, the mandrels that we have are two thousandths below bullet diameter. And I think we go up and down one thousandths from there in, in half thousandths increments. But anyway, these are co uh, coated with armorloy. It's a really good coating. It, ha it offers lubricity and hardness. So very, very good coating. But if you already have your uh, 21st century mandrels and you're happy with them, then no need to buy extra mandrels. However, if you want to try these, they're also on the website, shootsmallgroups.com. And uh, yeah, they're there now. So go get them. Let me know what you think. We're still adding more as we go. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And there's a link in the description below so that you can go order yours. And one more thing before we go. If you have a 21st century die, <laughs> do not get rid of it. We are soon going to be offering these adapters that allow you to put a brush in, in the adapter and allows you to use the 21st century die. This obviously allows you to put this in the press and just instead of having to brush your uh, brass by hand, you can just pull on the handle and brush it. If you have a progressive like I have, that's the cat's meow because it allows you to put one in the press and as the ramp comes up and sizes your brass, expands it, all that good stuff. It also cleans your necks out for you. So anyway, uh, we're going to be offering these very soon on the website as well. Thank you.